All right. Uh, so I just want to kind of open up with some remarks. I appreciate you guys being here today. Obviously, there were some things going on with Kane over the last couple of weeks, really, to be honest with you. Uh, they weren't finalized until late last week, and it was a little bit time sensitive in terms of when uh, Coach Peterson and the University of Washington was going to be okay with us commenting on it. I think Kane's situation is a little bit unique in that, in that uh, you know, anybody that's been here for 16 years and uh, coached at 143 games, was a four-time All-American, uh, you know, part of six Big Sky Conference championships. Um, we wanted to make sure that we did. When, uh, when, a, when an organization hires somebody, that's on, I always look at it like that's their job to release it and then we'll respond to it. And so uh, that was kind of the, the timeline a little bit. Um, started having conversations a while ago actually with uh, Pete Krukowski. He had brought this position up. It's actually a position I think there at Washington that they're creating. Um, it's, not a, it's not a quality control role, it's an analyst. And Tedford, Jeff Tedford was kind of in that, option, in that position a year ago. At, uh, at Washington on the offensive side of the ball, and I think they really saw the value in that. Somebody that's familiar with Coach Borkowski and, and with Kane, who, which he is, that's very familiar with what they do on defense at Washington because it's uh, very similar to what we're doing here. And I think just somebody who is uh, as well thought of as Kane. I think he'll fit very well into their culture, and uh, it's a great opportunity for him. I think it's, it's, all, it's always about timing. There was actually something that was similar to this that came up a year ago. And he and I chatted about it. Um, I was approached by another coach who was interested in an off-the-field role. And uh, it just wasn't the right time. I didn't feel like it was the right time for me either because I selfishly, I wanted Kane here. I thought just from the standpoint of you know, him being able to guide me through some of the, the, the land fields and minefields that there are in, 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 in an organization he was very familiar with and the value that he brought as a member of this staff. And this year, it was just a, a similar type of situation. But I think for him, the timing was right. Uh, you know, he's newly engaged. As I told him, I said, this is going to be a great opportunity for you and Carrie to start your life together on an adventure. And uh, well, I was very supportive of it, um, but also kind of mixed emotions, you know, and it really kind of hit me last week, but, you know, as we were going through our Wednesday and, and Friday practices and then into Saturday that, uh, you know, that uh, game was going to be gone and, and uh, I'm happy for him. Uh, I think that says something about the type of people that I've hired here. And we've had three guys that have left. Two of them have gone to Power 5 programs, and one of them is in arguably the best FCS program in the country. And I think if I continue to do my job correctly, uh, there'll be people that will be attracted to Montana State, not just because of the lifestyle, not just because of the success that we're having, but also because they see this is a place where they can go work for a man that's going to be able to advance their career. And the reality of a place like this is that's part of the deal. People don't come here as 24-year-olds to start their 50-year career here at Montana State. They want to come to work for somebody that can that is connected in the profession, that can coach them on how to be a good coach and, uh, and, and hopefully uh, provide opportunities and options for them down the road. And I think that if we, uh, as I said, if we continue to hire good people, which I feel like we have, that uh, those young men will have those opportunities down the road. Uh, the, the big picture is if we, if we win, we all benefit. And uh, that's obviously our, our ultimate goal. And so, um, that, was kind of the, that was kind of how it went down with Kane. It was something, like I said, I talked to, I know he and Coach Bukowski, I think, was very interested in having Kane because of their previous relationship. And uh, what had to happen was Coach Peterson had to be okay with it. And so that was kind of what happened was uh, Chris and I had a couple of conversations, and I know he engaged Kane on it. And, uh, I think he felt like he was a good fit, and that's the direction he wanted to go. And so that's how we got here. We handled this internally for now. Um, we have a guy who's coached some inside linebackers over his career and tied it. I think it's a pretty seamless transition for him to go into that room. I think what I told our players, and I, and, and I believe this, what I try to do in this situation is I try to I think first and foremost what's best for our players. And a lot of times if you can keep continuity, that's what's best for your players. Because I mean, you, anybody in this room can imagine, okay, here you're sitting in a room one day and you've got Coach Ione and you've got a good relationship with him and you know how he communicates and what his expectations are. And he walks out the door and you bring somebody in and you got to learn what their expectations are, how they communicate, all those things. Well, here it's not, we don't have to get crazy because they're meeting, they're, they're communicating with Ty all the time anyway. And so putting him in there with the inside linebackers, I think is the easy fit. Um, in the short term, I'm going to take over the, the Bucks, the outside guys, and, uh, and then everything else kind of stays in place. And uh, we're going to get through spring ball. Quite honestly, I don't have the time right now to deal with, uh, with the hiring process. Um, you know, there's some hoops that we got to jump through in that. And, uh, we don't, we don't need to be in a hurry. I think we've got the people here in-house to be able to move forward without missing a beat. And uh, we've already had one practice without Coach Ione. And, and while it was different, 
Uh, we got through it just fine, and, uh, and I'm sure we'll adapt and adjust how we need to moving forward. And so uh, we'll, we'll probably have some temporary assignments that we'll put into place, uh, pending some, uh, some approval from HR and some of those things. And then we'll try to have somebody permanently in place by the middle of May.